Hello. Uh, it's been a while since I've talked to everyone about the state of the UI, but I thought uh, while we're amidst our next uh, big release, our next big push, we could take a second to uh, talk about some of the updates. Uh, you notice we have our pretty new Ranger archetype here in the middle. We've got a new video interface here. So this is where you're going to find all the videos for uh, all the upcoming archetypes and uh, all the upcoming game modes. We've got uh, a slightly new interface for our powers. And we're going to get into this a little bit more when we get inside the game itself. So let's jump right into the game, actually. We're now in uh, one of our testing environments you guys have seen before. And uh, here's, uh, here's our new Ranger. She's pretty sweet. So let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the updates to the combat HUD. There's a lot of things that are still happening kind of in, in, the, in behind the scenes, but you'll notice that we've actually moved some stuff around, uh, hidden some other things. You know, we made a promise for, for player customization um, in, the, in the combat UI, and uh, we're still doing that, but it's not quite ready to show. So for the time being, what I've done is, is I guess we have the best of both worlds, uh, where we've duplicated the information in the top left uh, we've also put that underneath the action bar. And then that way, if you're the kind of player that, that really wants it kind of really tight and near the, uh, the action icons, you've got your information here. But if you really liked it back in the top left, we have that there. Eventually, uh, you'll be able to decide for yourself and then actually customize it further. Uh, and we took the player's name and team information and we actually put it here and uh, what we're not seeing right now is we don't see the rest of my team unit frames, um, you know, their names and health bars. But what ends up happening is everyone's information is located in a very convenient spot altogether. And then we centralized, you know, we had kind of a point of interest compass. Uh, we went ahead and centralized that to the center of the screen, especially as we keep adding game modes. Um, it won't just be, you know, your team you're trying to keep a beat on, you're trying to keep a beat on kind of like your, your target, like in our, our siege mode that we're, that we're putting in, there are, you know, um, points of interest that you're gonna want to find and destroy uh, in order to progress in that game mode. So it made a lot more sense to put it there in the center. One of the larger changes, we have now put in a full screen uh, takeover user interface for your uh, player equipment. You're still able to uh, check out your inventory uh, as a standalone element, but when it comes time to checking out your, your player equipment or your powers or your skills, which we'll get to in a second, it's now a full screen takeover. This is actually the direction that we initially intended even before Kickstarter. We had started to put together wireframe mockups of this screen and, and it was always intended to be a full screen takeover. Here's the original Illustrator file. This is from December of 2014. Um, before we launched the Kickstarter, we were just throwing around a bunch of ideas for how we could kind of present these screens. So we've got a, a really nice live preview of your character. You can see that is, that is your actual character in game. So this is actually really useful for like, if you're in this um, takeover, but you're in the middle of combat or something, you can, uh, you can get a, a clear read on whether or not you're being attacked. Uh, what's nice now though, is all in one screen, we have um, all your stats, all your gear and attributes, um, and we've, uh, we're finally we're able to implement a color coding system so that at a glance you can really quickly see the quality of your gear. Uh, the one thing that we're going to add soon is a second tooltip. Uh, that way, if, for instance, if I'm just in my inventory and I don't want to go all the way into the takeover, but I do want to equip some new gear, I'll be able to get that comparative tooltip so that just straight from here I can slot my gear. So another radical change, which we saw a small preview of um, a second ago, is the power um, grid. We don't have the tree layout that we used to. It's more of a, an open grid. And this is because as the game uh, continues to grow and as we add more features, eventually this is gonna be full of powers that you'll be able to acquire through runes and disciplines and then actually slot them uh, in a custom way across your, your, uh, your action bar. This is a much more kind of a free form grid. As I click on different powers, I'll be able to see um, the initial powers information and, and, uh, and attributes. But then if it's got any comboing uh, powers, I can then see that information here. So we haven't lost sight over um, combo parents and, ch and, and children relationships, but uh, the idea is from this grid, you'll be able to kind of get the high level information and then be able from there 
to slot your power into whatever slot you want down here. And then for players that are archetypes that have multiple uh, power trays, you can toggle between them. It's not online right now, but where this, uh, where this goes next is being able to um, click and drag and rearrange your powers as you see fit. So more kind of high level things that have been in the works is uh, if you notice, if you're, if you're um, familiar with how the other player ability icons look, you'll notice that the Rangers looks um, significantly different in style. So the Ranger icons, they, they're kind of, they're a lot more graphic in nature. They're all character focused and they're, the color palette in general has a little bit more of a, a bright and sporty look to it. Um, and being that most of the abilities that you use in the game are actually um, driven by the archetype, there will be some uh, abilities that are universal to all archetypes, but for the most part, abilities really are linked to the archetype. I wanted to bring the archetype into the icon. Um, and so what I did was I, I took some animation frames um, from the actual animation that we use in the game, and I found really dynamic poses, and then I, I started from there to create a new kind of look and feel for the icons. So we're, you know, love the feedback on, on how people kind of like these and, and if they like the look going forward. But I'm hoping that people like this because I'm, I'm a big fan. And we're trying to kind of um, work on kind of a color language so that at a glance, just the general silhouette along with the color language, people can look right at the icon and uh, have a really good idea of how to use it um, and what it's useful for. That about covers the latest and greatest with the UI. So hopefully you like where it's heading and uh, we'll see you in Siege Perilous. Thanks. Hey, check this out. Except there needs to be more explosions and dimensions flying. <laughs> well, that's always a good solution. You have like, can you say on your shoulder? What is that? You could kill her.